we're going to look at um, s a couple of ACT practice questions. Mm -hmm. um, I've got some pulled Good up idea. on my screen here, kind of talking about what we were discussing earlier with um, correcting <laughs> sentences. So, um, might be a little small to see, but um, hopefully you can read it. I wanted to have all three questions up here for you. So, um, these are the questions that have words or phrases underlined um, so that you have to decide what's best, um, the best answer. Maybe it's fine how it is, and they always give you that option. Um, you can see with this first one, it said, to judge the tidy city contest, we picked an uninterested party. Kind of sounds okay the way it is, and you have A having that exact same option, but you need to think about the word uninterested interested and we have another option here disinterested so to be interested in something is to be kind of excited about it um, engaged with it to be uninterested would be unengaged not at all excited but disinterested means that you don't really have a claim you don't really have um, any ties to something um, and so that's actually the best option that would be C here um, so they picked somebody to judge the contest that didn't have anything to lose or gain by judging the contest, which is what you want. You want an impartial judge. Um, we're looking at this next one. It says, Linda decides they had better scram before the killers find them. And so um, you may not understand what the word scram means. It's actually, you know, kind of a slang, but it means to hurry and leave. And so we're wondering, you know, what's the best option? Um, had better leave, should hurry and scram, they could hurry and leave or they had better get out. Um, with these, you're always trying to pick what's best. And with this one, it actually looks pretty good the way that it is, um, but had better um, is kind of wordy. So you might want to go with C again here. Now, I'm not trying to tell you that C is always the answer, um, but that just happens to be the way it is right now. Um, there are some test taking techniques that do involve some strategies like that, but um, just picking C throughout the test is not a very good idea. Um, so the next one here says, I really dug the character of Brutus. Now, that means that somebody was, you know, kind of into them, they were excited by them, they were interested in that character. Um, and again, you have Doug as A, thought about, B, thought of, admired, or gazed at. Now we know that they're not talking about looking at him because they're talking about reading this character. Um, admired the character of Brutus. I don't know, Char Brutus was um, not necessarily an um, dishonorable man, as Mark Anthony would have told you he was, but probably not admired. Thought of doesn't really work, thought about, um, you know, if you're reading this, uh, if you're reading Caesar, then you probably are thinking about this character, but A is actually a good answer there. Doug, even though it's slang, works, okay? It's a good answer there. So um, some of these things you're going to have to think about. The ACT is timed, so if you get into the practice of kind of doing this quickly, um, you know, we kind of covered this in just a couple of minutes with just these three questions. So you need to kind of get into that um, that routine of looking through the answers and picking the best one and having a reason to justify why you picked it. Okay, so we'll look at more of these later on, but remember if you have any questions, you need to call us because you can win prizes. Okay?